Invisible Buildings Teacher's Guide. Part 4 The Mole Digger. After lunch, we're going to come out and we're actually going to be doing some digging. Not, oh, not, yeah. not, not, not wait, 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 not real digging. Oh. Virtual digging, which is almost as fun. Much as the children would dearly love to dig up their playing field, in our game they have to be content with a virtual excavation. Still in their groups, they take the digging equipment out to the field and select one of the cones they laid during GeoFizz. Turning the equipment in circles, the digger burrows down into the ground, as evidenced by the on-screen graphic of a mole at work. When they've gone deep enough, a piece of the hidden structure will emerge on screen. This is beamed back to the classroom, ready for the daily mall. Meanwhile, the exercise is repeated until all the pieces have been found. Back inside, the children will see their discoveries in a final game, accessed from the website. By trial and error, they will place the pieces they have found on screen onto an image of the building outline revealed during the GeoFizz. When assembled correctly, the hard day's work is rewarded with a complete 3D rendering of the hidden building, together with a walkthrough. All that remains is the archaeologist's debriefing, although there is a possibility that the investigation started today could continue in a number of different directions. Invisible Buildings has been conceived to be relevant and adaptable to almost any primary school history curriculum.